Weather NorCal Command Center. This is your afternoon update. Good afternoon to you all. We are seeing some gusty winds again for some of us here in Northern California. Not as bad on the coast. Of course, you can see out in Crescent City Harbor District. Boy, look at those beautiful blue skies out there. Just a great shot out at the harbor there. Uh, we take you out now to Lake Oroville, North Four Bay. There's those winds blowing that we're seeing in the valley. I mean, yeah, we're looking at some gusty winds out there. In fact, they are expected to be a little bit stronger today than they were yesterday. Of course, we take a look out at that last in part. We can't see any video here, but here's the latest image coming in. And yeah, the winds are blowing. You can kind of see that here on the, the peak there, but uh, just those beautiful blue skies, even out at Lassen Park. So the headlines, yeah, we've got winds, which will be the strongest today and even into your Friday morning, but weaker winds will be here by the weekend. So yeah, we've got another day of gusty winds, but they will subside through the day on Friday. Highs over the weekend too, especially by Sunday to Monday, getting close to 80 degrees. But next week, this pattern is not going to stick around forever because next week we're going to start to see a slow change in our overall weather pattern. And I'll take a look at some of the peak gusts that we've seen here. These are from today for the most part for Redding, Red Bluff, Chico, Willows. These are actually more from yesterday coming because we're looking at, keep in mind, last 24 hours. So we saw the gusty winds on the coast here yesterday at this time and, of course, through the afternoon. So this is still registering from what we saw yesterday. But these have all updated because they've gotten stronger here today. And not to mention some gusty winds down into southern portions of Trinity County as well. So here's what we anticipate here for the rest of the afternoon. I am expecting, just like yesterday, to see the winds at least relax a little bit. Still a bit gusty at times through the evening, but we will see the winds begin to die down a little bit. Then we'll see them begin to pick back up again as we take you into your Friday morning, especially for the mountains east of the valley. But Chico actually may see some stronger winds out of this as well. And you can see around Redding and Red Bluff and even Willows. Not as bad for the coast. We're still seeing some of those winds though in Southern Trinity County and Southeastern portions of Humboldt County. We're taking to the noon hour on Friday. Strongest wind still just east of the valley, but west side of the valley, we are seeing some of those stronger winds as well. They should start to subside though as we go into Friday afternoon. Notice the valley, much weaker winds, still some gusts in the Eastern Mountains Friday afternoon, Friday evening, but look at this. By Saturday, winds getting weaker and weaker, most likely below 10 miles per hour across the board on Saturday, making for a gorgeous, gorgeous weekend. Taking a look at future casters, take a look at some of the cloud cover out there. Of course, plenty of sunshine today, plenty of sunshine for your Friday, but check this out. As we go into Saturday, we've got an area of low pressure way down to our south and east near Southern California. The rotation around that low, which will be coming in in this direction right here, some of that may make its way into parts of the eastern mountains, in particular around Lassen, maybe Plumas County. But the bulk of it should stay to our south. This is going to be one of those probably not going to happen type of situations, but it's going to be right there on the edge of where we could potentially see that. Also, what I'm tracking and monitoring is that marine layer, that fog, is going to be working its way northward here throughout the weekend. I'm expecting by Sunday into Monday, we could be looking at more fog out along the coast. All right, so here's the look at that big ridge of high pressure that's in place. That's going to pretty much continue to build. We've got the jet stream right on top of us today. That's why today we'll see and is expected to see the strongest winds. But as we progress through time, that ridge builds to the north. This area of low pressure dives to the south. That means that the pressure gradients, that they, as they spread apart, the winds aren't going to be quite as strong. Now, the strongest winds look to be, especially late in the day Friday, to our south around San Francisco, Sacramento. For us, though, the winds will start to die down on Friday, as we saw in Futurecast. Then you can see here, as we go into the weekend, now the winds no longer playing a factor. 
We've got high pressure in place, warmer air in place as well. And as we go through next week, what we're going to start to see happen is these systems kind of moving in closer. I'm expecting at least through Wednesday of next week will be dry. Then by next Thursday and Friday, we are reintroducing that chance for showers in the forecast. As of right now, I'm not seeing anything terribly uh, significant, but we're going to break away from this early spring pattern here uh, as with, of course, warmer temperatures and those gusty winds. But we're going to be turning over to cooler temperatures by the end of next week and eventually maybe even some showers in the forecast as well. So here's what it looks like out there today. Temperatures are getting close to, if not right around 70 in the valley. I am expecting in the mountains though, temperatures mainly in the upper 40s to low 50s. For Trinity County, low 60s. And there you can see mid to even upper 60s for the coast and the inland areas. All right, let's take a look at your seven day outlook region by region. And of course we start off with the valley. Windy today, dying down through the day on Friday. Temperatures continue to climb. I think Sunday will be the warmest for the valley. And then after that, temperature is dropping slowly. I mean, still in the low 70s for next Wednesday. But as we go into Thursday, Friday of next week, cooler temperatures and, of course, a chance for showers as well. There's your coast, seven-day forecast, as well as inland and Weaverville. Also seeing those temperatures kind of peaking sometime toward the late weekend, early next week. And here's a look at Mount Shasta, Alturas, Susanville. Windy for Susanville and then breezy as we go. So again, also seeing those winds kind of dying down for the second half of the day. And of course, looking at dry conditions through Wednesday, but as mentioned, maybe sometime around next Thursday, next Friday, a chance for showers.